at the end of a really bad day, what do you cook for yourself to cheer yourself up? At the end of a bad day, the last thing you want is more stress. <laughs> and you're not going to start you know, creating a macaroons, <laughs> for example. So effectively, it's going to be very simple food. food uh, maybe it depends on the, you know, uh, if it's something, you know, uh, about something maybe um, fish, maybe a smoked salmon, very simple, with a nice glass of sancerre or even champagne. That's very uh, uplifting, I can assure you. <laughs> you should try it, OK? Uh, uh, or if it's, uh, if it's uh, something more meaty, a nice terrine of something, you know, uh, uh, with a nice glass of Pinot Noir, because I come from Burgundy, so I love my Pinot Noir. Okay, it's a true religion, okay, in my area. So when I start a nice little glass of Pinot Noir, I'll be very happy. Or I've just been offered a nice bottle of 1811 uh, Napoleon Cognac, sorry for the name, sorry. Okay, uh, so that now maybe a little <laughs> zest of this little 1811 Napoleon Cognac, that should uplift me for a long time. <laughs> so, so I look for simple food, I look, we all look for comfort, we all creatures. Uh, when we when we exhaust it, stressed, it's nice to find something comfortable, have a quick shower, or you know, just put something warm, pyjamas, and then, you know, and, and then, yeah. And drink. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, of course. Cheers. I'm not a teetotaler, never put on <laughs> <laughs> a dreadful life.